with CCN Sunrise. Good morning, everyone. We're so glad to have you with us here. We also have a mayoral candidate, Bill Thompson, here. And it is Children's Dental Health Awareness Month. So we have the author of a book called Teeth Fairies, which uh, helps kids who are losing teeth not have it be such a scary time. We also have orthodontist Karen Gwynn to help us keep our mouths healthy and our kids' uh, dental health in shape. And Loa's here. Yes, we've got the Sierra Madre Playhouse performers and Chef Loretta as well. Oh, she's going to be cooking up some Yum. couscous. Yes. Um, so, Lo, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to try to contain my germs on my side of the yeah. desk here. Right. I'm not sounding so good this morning, but uh, you know they just. But you look good. That's what. That's oh, what really you. counts. Thank you. Yeah, you as well. Um, are you a Dancing with the Stars fan? Oh yes. Like, yes. How, how are you, you not are be? excited about this new lineup oh, that they just put gosh. out there? Oh my gosh. Yes, it's crazy. Who, crazy. who are you rooting for? Well, Patty Labelle. How can Patty you... Labelle? Oh my gosh, that I have to see. You're not rooting for Chrissy? Well, yeah, <laughs> I root for them all until I about the third week. Then I'm like, you go, you go, you go, and you're it. <laughs> Patty. Um, I also saw that Noah Galloway's there, and he's got this inspiring story. He's a Iraq War wet vet. Um, and has lost part of his arm, his leg, uh, his other leg is also injured. What and a challenge. What a brave guy. I know. That's going to be awesome I, to watch. I don't know. I might have to root for Noah. <laughs> <laughs> but before we go any further, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors who make this show possible. Take a look. Crown City News is sponsored by Foothill Transit, San Gabriel Valley Economic Partnership, Pasadena Federal Credit Union, Senior Providers Network, Ability First, Beacon Media News, EH Financial, Ganal Lumber, Siren Arts Productions. Thank you for your support of Crown City News.